All right, guys, if you're into motorcycles, you've most likely heard of Simpson helmets. It just so happens to be my favorite helmet brand. I wear one on my Harley, I wear one on my sport bike. If you look right here, I have their Ghost Bandit and I have their Outlaw Bandit. And they're both very similar, but they have pretty dramatic differences also. And I wanted to compare the two because a lot of people lean toward the Outlaw Bandit, but the Ghost Bandit, which looks very similar, has a lot of features that the Outlaw doesn't have. So let's compare one to the other. Okay, so on the left, we have the super popular Outlaw Bandit. I chose it because it has this really angry eyebrow. I love the jawline, the overall appearance of the helmet. Now over here is the Ghost Bandit. It also has a little bit of stuff on top in the eyebrow area, a little further back. The chin bar is very similar, but it has more of a taller sport bike looking shield here. As you can see, this is much taller than this and it kind of leans back a little more. So it has a little more of a sporty configuration, but it's still very similar. The Outlaw Bandit goes for $4.99. Right now on the Simpson website, they have the Ghost Bandit for $3.99. So this helmet here is currently $100 cheaper. Let's talk about the shells real quick. They're both fiberglass composite. They both have venting here in the chin bar. But when it comes to venting, that's where it stops with this one here, where this one has additional venting here on top, and it's got exhaust vents in the back. Now, when you look at the profile, you can see that the Ghost Bandit has more of a sloped face, like I said, more of an overall sporty shape, where the Outlaw Bandit's a little stubbier back here. It's more round, I guess you'd say. To me, this has more of a cruiser look. This has more of a sporty look. Now, with the face shields popped open, you can see that the Ghost Bandit has a very cool feature that this one does not. It's got an internal drop-down sun visor. You just hit this lever right here, and you can make that sun visor go up or down. I love this feature in hot weather. You can pop this open, get a little more air. This one here does not have that feature. Now, another thing I really like about the Ghost Bandit is you can just barely crack open the shield to get a little more air and it won't disrupt your vision at all. Now on the Outlaw Bandit, you have to crank the shield so high to get to the first you know, notch that it's right in your middle line of sight and it's really a pain in the butt. So you either really need to run it all the way open or all the way closed. That's where I feel like the Ghost Bandit has a big advantage. You can put it here, you can put it there, you can put it up all the way up to the top. I mean, it's got all these nice settings. The Outlaw is basically closed open in your light of sight, and then all the way open. Now let's talk about the internals real quick. The Ghost Bandit has these nice reflective panels back here, so people will see you at night. Um, it's got a removable, washable liner, and it's got basically a dual compound EPS liner. The EPS liner is the foam between the comfort liner and the shell. The, the EPS that's closest to your head is softer than the EPS that's closer to the shell. So it absorbs energy a little bit better. It's also got uh, venting inside. I don't know if you can see that. You can see those vent holes, but the EPS liner has venting channels. There's open venting in the comfort liner, which will push the air through the helmet a little more through these vents and out these vents. Bottom line is you have a vented interior. On the Outlaw Bandit, there's none of that. There's no venting at all. The comfort liner isn't vented. The EPS liner is a single material and it has no venting channels in it. So the venting in the Ghost Bandit is quite superior to the venting in the Outlaw Bandit. The Outlaw doesn't have the reflective panels back here. Not a huge deal, but it does have this nice neck roll to keep some of the wind out of your helmet. Once again, the Comfort Liner is removable and washable. Now, when you're looking at the backs of the helmet, you can see that the Ghost Bandit has a much more aggressive look, more sporty, streamlined where the Outlaw Bandit's a little more rounded off, a little more conservative. Just depends on what kind of a look you want. The Ghost Bandit has a little more going on here with you know, indentations in the shell where the Outlaw Bandit is just a smooth shell. I mean, it looks good, just showing you the differences. Now let's talk about performance between the two when you're riding. This is the helmet I got first, and when I first got it, I noticed right away, I was like, wow, this thing, it's more noisy than what I'm used to, and I felt a lot of wind just slapping the helmet around. And, you know, I just, I kind of dealt with it because I love the helmet so much. And then when I got this helmet, I was like, wow, it cuts through the wind way smoother. It's way quieter. 
the wind doesn't slap it as much. Uh, this helmet is almost 40% quieter than this one here. So quite a big difference between the two when you're riding down the road. Now another thing that the Ghost Bandit has that the Outlaw does not is on the interior, it has little pockets on both sides if you want to mount like a, uh, a communication system and put speakers on both sides of the helmet. It's a nice feature to have to get the speakers away from your ears. Now I want to mention that this Ghost Bandit does not come with this graphics on it. I did this myself. I put some chrome red vinyl on here, took some silver pinstriping tape and did that. This helmet does come with some graphic styles, just not this one here. Now when it comes to what colors these come in, the Outlaw comes in this candy red you see here, which I love, it matches my Hardy Perfect. You can get it in white, comes in a gold, gloss plat, matte black, and a type of gray. The Ghost Bandit, you see here, it's kind of like a matte black. You can also get it in a camo graphic. Um, there's a really cool Stars and Stripes version. Um, gloss black, silver, white, and then there's a couple graphic versions that come in like a Harley orange and another colorway too. So based strictly on style, I prefer the Outlaw Bandit. Um, I just love this really angry eyebrow. I love the shape of the shield. It looks a little bit meaner. Um, it's a more of a conservative yet aggressive looking helmet versus the Ghost. It's a little bit sportier, but I still think it looks great on a Harley. So you Harley guy riders can rock it. The Sport by guys can rock it. Um, really universal helmet. But I wear this one more than this one because I love the drop down internal sun visor. I love being able to crack the shield just a little bit to get a little bit of air. I love how quieter it is with less wind buffering. Another thing I wanna mention about the Ghost Bandit is it does come with a chin skirt that goes right in here. It is removable and it comes with a nice neoprene type of fabric and a rigid plastic frame. So that's nice. I put that in on colder days, keep the cold air out of my face. You do not get one of those with the Outlaw Bandit and no option to put one there either. Now these chin vents on the Outlaw, they are not adjustable. They're always breathing. But over here on the Ghost Bandit, you have adjustable levers right here if you wanna change the uh, wind flow coming into your helmet. Now one area that the Outlaw Bandit is superior to the Ghost Bandit is the chin straps are nicer. This material right here is smoother and just feels a little more quality. It has nicer D-rings, they're, they're rounded off and they just feel good. And it's easier to snap the extra strap onto right here where on the Ghost Bandit, the snap is so, you know, look at that, it's, it almost disappears behind the cheek pad when you're wearing it. So all I do is when I have extra strap, I just kind of shove it in there, I don't even snap it. So they need to do some work on that. It's the snap's completely in the wrong place. So yeah, most Harley guys lean toward the Outlaw Bandit, maybe not even knowing about the Ghost Bandit. Like I said, they're very similar, but the Ghost Bandit's $100 cheaper. It's got the drop down internal sun visor. It's got the nice face shield you can crack open without it disrupting your eye vision. Less noisy, it's more comfortable going down the road. So either one's a great helmet. I just wanted to show you the difference between the two and you'll obviously choose whichever one you think's more badass. Anyways guys, thanks for hanging out. Hope this helmet review helped you out. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you guys in the next video.